Okay, today we're going to talk about the Tox Pressotechnic system, and it's an EPW 400. And the first video is going to review how to set up the sensors. We've got a touch screen here, so here's some items. If I touch a zoom button, I can zoom in by, you know, touching here and saying I want this to be 150 negative, and now this is scaled over 150, so... Um, once I do this, it's going to ask me if I want to do these changes for all the, the processes or programs or just all or one of them. I'm going to do the only one. So let's talk about sensor setup. So I go to my menu here, and then I'm going to go to my configuration. And in configuration, I've got my force and I've got my distance sensors. And really what happens here, if I click on force, I can say, you know, hey, this isn't kilonewtons, it's it's pounds, whatever. Um, and I'm going to say that, you know, this thing is 15 kilonewtons. That's my max force. My offset is where is zero. So you may have some tooling that's hanging on this, and you may want that tooling not to be registered, so you put an offset on here. Your offset limit is a percentage so that if you were to zero, and here's your zero, if I zero... Um, if my offset limit is greater than 10%, it's going to give me a problem. It's going to give me a, an issue. Um, strain gauge, here's my millivolts per volt if you're using a load cell. And my filter, I can do filter of 5, 10 hertz, 20 hertz, 50, 100, 200, 500, 1,000, or off. So when I'm setting this up, typically we want to do a, either a two-point calibration. And you hit this button here, and you're going to get a two-point calibration. Let's say I tape in zero, and then I hit teach. It just grabbed, hey, 0.94 volts is zero. And then I can type in zero again and hit teach. And then I can accept the calibration. So this is a way that you would go ahead and do a two-point calibration. Yes. I can also, I'm going to save this for this process. I can also go to my distance sensor and do the same thing. It's a 200 millimeter total stroke. My offset is 10, which means that zero happens that at this small piece. Here's my offset adjustment, which is a zero, and I can do a two-point calibration. Same thing. Zero is zero, and zero is zero. Zero volts, okay? That's what that does. So really... What I've got here is I have the ability to set up my distance sensors. And then the other thing I want to do is I'm going to go back to my menu. Once I've set up my sensors, I can go to Supplements and I can go to I.O. Monitor. And under Supplement and I.O. Monitor, I can physically see the sensors. So here's showing me the voltages of the distance and the force. And this is the actual scaled values. So I've got zero voltage and zero distance. When I, when I drive the press up and down, you're going to be able to see those numbers. This is how you would verify that those sensors are working. So that's a quick overview, uh, menu, configuration, force distance. And then if you go back to your supplement, you can go to your I.O. and see what's going on.